there. All you have to do is list it. Found these at a yard sale for a dollar each. They sold in less than five minutes for best offer of 100. Net profit, 85. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I'm gonna rock my new Bolo Buddies hat in this video. Ah! All right, um, let's talk about some bolos. Let's talk about some items to be on the lookout for, some items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And we are gonna start with piece of scrap. Now, how does this work? If they are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, which means they have joined memberships at level two, I am going to pop up their eBay store or their YouTube channel, whichever they prefer, and I'm going to link them down below. Definitely go subscribe to those YouTube channels and follow their eBay stores by clicking on the heart. These people are amazing Bolo finders, okay? You're going to learn so much from them. What I do is I post this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is my Facebook group. If you're not a member, it's linked down below. Definitely go join. It is free for everyone to share. Anybody can be in this video. You just get the mention if you're a member, okay? Otherwise, it's just anonymous. So um, this is the post. Share your best January Bolo, okay? So this one comes from Piece of Scrap. Paid a dollar at a church sale, sold for full asking price on Mercari for $70 plus shipping. And she sells on multiple platforms and she does sell clothing. So you will definitely get some different um, things on her channel because I don't do a lot of shoes. I don't do a lot of clothing. You will find that on her channel. So these are Keen, K-E-E-N, Newport Sandals, size 10. And again, she paid a buck for them and sold them for $70 plus shipping on Mercari. Found from giveaway pile on the side of the road last summer. Buyer paid shipping. It is a DeLonghi, DeLonghi, this is what it looks like. Rare vintage orange used electric tea kettle. Huh, that's a cool looking tea kettle. All right, so it was free. It was in, on the side of the road. Here's another free one, free from my mother-in-law's estate clean out. So you guys, talk to family, talk to friends, check the side of the road. There's bolos everywhere. Um, it is the master key system in 24 parts book uh, from 1919, and this sold for $263. Warehouse pallet. Ooh, all right. We don't get a lot of pallet shares. So if you guys do pallets, definitely come share. Cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. Sold in a few days on eBay. It is a Coach Signature Shepra Bucket Hat. And it sold for $119.99. So I want to know what kind of palette you're ordering to get Coach. Awesome, right? Paid a dollar at a fill -a bag sale. After a lot of research, I couldn't find this exact model of doll. So I stuck her in my death pile. I call the death pile the money pile because it's all money. It's sitting there. All you have to do is list it, okay? Mine at this point in time is a money mountain. You've probably seen it in my vlog videos. It's almost touching the ceiling and it's just totes and totes and totes and totes of stuff. Anyway, back to this doll. She got um, a place of honor on my mantle, she said. And that there she stayed for about a year. So instead of it going in her money pile, she put it on the mantle because she liked it. Finally decided I wanted my mantle back. So just threw her out there at a price of $80 and she sold in a few hours. It is a vintage GOTS, G-O-T-Z, 19 inch tall doll, new open box, red hair headband, 1980s lace gingham. There you go. All right, this one comes from Nina's Jewels, and she has a um, Facebook, and she's also on YouTube, so definitely go and check her out. Um, 
These are steel toe chest waders. They were brand new, although the paper part of the tag was torn off. We paid 20 at a garage sale. They sold for our full asking price of $125. So, wow, that is incredible. And that's what they look like. So they're waders. Never heard of um, with, with protective footwear. That's definitely interesting. All right, this one comes from Mindful Recycle, who also is a member. This is her YouTube channel. She is a big money bolo finder, one of the biggest that I know of. She just finds crazy stuff all the time, but she does a lot of estate sale shopping, and you'll see that over on her YouTube channel. But uh, she got this at an estate sale. She paid $25 for it, and it sold for $349.97, and the buyer paid shipping. It is a DVD player, video cassette recorder, Sony, VHS, DVD, VCR player in the original box. Okay, this is also from Terry, Mindful Recycle. She is also a moderator of this Facebook group that I'm referring to. Um, so go show her some love with a sub because she deserves it because she helps out with this crazy group. Um, picked up three sets of these at a garage sale in the summer for $2 a set. First set sold for $99. And... This one sold for $75.50, and this is what it looks like, and she paid two bucks for it. She says she has one more set left to sell. A little under three yards of vintage Holly Hobby fabric. Yes, Holly Hobby is definitely a bolo. Holly Hobby fabric also is a bolo. If you want to learn about more fabrics to be on the lookout for, I did a video on vintage fabric to look for. Um, Holly Hobby is definitely one of them. Bought for $2.99 at a thrift store and sold it for $49.99 in one week. I couldn't find anything else that like it anywhere. Listed it for $49.99 auction and that's what it sold for. Found these at a yard sale for a dollar each. They sold in less than five minutes for best offer of $100. Net profit, $85. New old stock, new old stock, Lot of eight vintage GE flash bar two for Polaroid. Yes, these flashes for cameras are definitely a bolo. Depending on which ones you find, some go for more than others. But if they sold in five minutes, I'm guessing these are a harder to find and maybe he underpriced it. But if he had a dollar each in them, I mean, he's got eight bucks in it and he flipped it in five minutes into a hundred bucks. I mean, yeah, that's that's awesome. Could have just been right time, right buyer. May have had them priced perfectly. I just started reselling part-time five months ago. This is my biggest sale so far. I grabbed this teapot and two mugs right off a fresh cart at my Goodwill. Um, and that was the end of November. Paid 13. I originally tried to sell on auction starting at 299, but no bids. After the auction ended, I went ahead and listed as buy it now for $3.99. I just sold the set for full asking price plus shipping. This is a, uh, I'm sorry, Fort Num and Mason Platinum Jubilee 2022 teapot and two mugs. Queen Elizabeth II. That's what it looks like. All right. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member eBay store. Um, impressions created or Donna 2445. Okay. Bought a box lot of jewelry for $12 at an online auction. So this set of earrings was a few cents that Bolo Buddies helped me with the keywords and the name. These were signed. I listed for $29.99, but sent offers out to watchers for $24.93, which was accepted. Um, Michael Golan geometric rhinestone earrings, long multicolored dangle, Y2K, no back. So the reason she's telling you that I helped her with the title is because it was probably around the time that I did a video on vintage clothing. And if you use Y2K in the title, that is trending right now. So there was somebody the other day that actually said they had a pair of sunglasses that had been sitting and sitting and sitting in their store. They saw my video, they added Y2K to the title and they sold. So if you have anything in that time frame, add Y2K to your title and let me know if it helps you sell your item quicker. But here are the earrings. All right. 
don't pass everything from China up. Probably another reseller put this in the free bin at the auction house, sold within a week for full asking of $49.99 and 17 in shipping. Buyers all in for $70.96. This is also for, from Impressions Created, and this is her eBay store. Um, I'm not sure how to say this. I'm guessing that the Y is silent, so maybe Ixin, Zisha, clay Chinese ceramic teapot with two enamel coated cups. New old stock, new vintage. Very cool. And here is another one. Purchased at the Springfield Extravaganza for $60. Paid up more than usual because Bill Campbell retired last year. Listed it for $499 and took a best offer of $300. Someone messaged and informed me the marks on the bottom indicated that this was the first time he tried this glaze. Almost didn't sell. Wow. Check it out. So that is pretty incredible. And that's cool that somebody messaged her and let her know. Paid $3.99 each and sold within a few hours of posting for full asking price of $175. And this was on Mercari. It is Lenox Village Candy and Nut Shop. It's the Candy and Nut Shop. Lenox. Nice pickup. And Mercari, awesome. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. That's her YouTube channel. And again, she does a lot of clothing. Paid $3.50 at the Goodwill. Accepted an offer of $100 plus shipping on Poshmark. Who on earth gets Patagonia for $3.50 at the Goodwill? What? That is incredible. That is an awesome top right there. It's colorful. It's fleece. Paid a dollar at the Goodwill. It is new genuine Apple iPod socks. Covers in six multicolors. I have never heard of an iPod sock. This is what they look like. $76 on Mercari. This one comes from The Quiet Thrifter. This is her eBay store. She's a Bolo Buddies member. I bought this vintage unopened Ken doll at a thrift shop for $18 and sold it for $69. Buyer paid shipping. It's a Barbie animal loving Ken doll and chimpanzee 1988 Mattel. Um, $69. Check out her eBay store. And I love it that she's selling toys. Um, Jody Toy Attic recently uh, talked about the pink boxes and that they are starting to go for more money. So if you see a pink box before a lot of those were bread and butter, but it sounds like they are the markets picking up on those. So definitely look them up. This one comes from Champagne Taste 73. Um, today I sold two items from the, the to the same person for 250. I bought them on eBay for 40 per set. They paid tax and shipping. They are gorgeous jewelry sets from Czech, Czechoslovakia. It took a very long time to sell, but it was certainly worth the wait. Okay. So she paid 40 a piece on eBay. And I think maybe she bought it for her personal collection because I think she's selling off some of her jewelry. So I'll have her link down below. Definitely go check her out. She has beautiful jewelry. But these are the two sets and one sold for 125 and the other set sold for 125 as well. So she sourced it on eBay for 40 and sold it for 125 and that was each set. St. Vincent's Thrift Store paid $1 and sold it for $39.95 in five minutes. Five minutes. It's an eight, eight inch Barney plush orange dinosaur riff 2006. I have never ever seen this one. Not that I like know a lot about Barney, but Barney's usually purple. We all know Barney's purple. Look at this. I think I would have auctioned it, but maybe um, she did comps and that was the going rate for it. But if it sold in five minutes, wow. Paid $10 for these Arabia of Finland pieces. And they sold for 75. This is what they look like. And it's a sugar bowl and a creamer. Excellent condition. Oh, and it looks like she also sold the six, four mocha cups and six saucers for 175. Wow, that's awesome. 
I picked up this two ounce dress for a dollar. It says Grizza's tank dress, size medium, silk cotton blend, log and look, green gray sheer. Sold it for 40 bucks. That's what it looks like. I have no idea. All right, the next one. Olay Silky Berry Body Lotion, 11.8 ounces, body wash, 12 ounces, candle, 3.5 ounces. So it is a set. Purchased at a local community thrift store for $6.99. I listed it high since it's a discontinued scent. I rejected a few lowball offers, sold in three months for full asking price of $69. And that is a Poshmark sale right there. So... I will say as long, you cannot sell perfume on Poshmark. I don't think this is perfume. It's body wash, body lotion, and a candle. So as long as there's like no alcohol or nothing flammable, it's okay. But um, no perfume on Poshmark. I can't believe how many people do not know that you cannot sell perfume. Perfume, nail polish, anything flammable. Do not sell it on Poshmark. Um, everything on Poshmark goes priority mail. Okay? So um, they have to be shipped ground. So do not put those items on Poshmark, FYI. Um, check the back of the label. It should say the contents. A lot of times it will say if it's flammable or not. Is it flammable or flammable? Flammable, right? <laughs> Am I saying it wrong? Oh, well, you know what I mean. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, I mispronounce things all the time. Nothing new. Nothing new here. Um, if you're new, let me know how you found the channel. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and if you'd be so kind to share, that would be awesome. Um, I appreciate all of you. Leave me an emoji of a heart down in the comments or just write the word heart. Thanks for watching. One right here is a Linux. Oh, there's no information. Disregard. We're not going to do that one. Sorry, guys. Found from a giveaway pile and unsold. Wait, giveaway pile on the sole. Oh, side. It auto corrected.